Did you know that L-theanine can decrease your anxiety while makes you more alert? And what happens if you combine it with caffeine? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of your inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. Today, we're gonna be talking about L-theanine. Now, L-theanine is most commonly found in tea leaves, usually in green and black tea. Here I have it, that's one of my favorite teas. I don't wanna show you the brand because then you'll say I'm promoting it, I'm not. But you can find L-theanine in tea, as I said. You can also find it in capsules like this one. This one contains 100 milligrams of L-theanine and 200 milligrams of caffeine. Now, what happens if you take those capsules? I will tell you later on. But yeah, as you can see, there are many different forms in, in which you can find L-theanine. It's also available in powder and so on. Now, L-theanine is by definition an amino acid. It's not one of the important ones, but it can provide many positive benefits. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the benefits of supplementing L-theanine now we're gonna look at the side effects, the recommended daily dosage. I'll also tell you what happens if you combine L-theanine with caffeine. And at the end, I'll share with you some really cool products with you that contain caffeine and L-theanine. Oh, by the way, one more question for you guys. What do you prefer, drinking green tea or black tea? Or do you prefer drinking coffee? Let me know in the comment section below. So the first benefit you can get from supplementing uh, L-theanine is you can get more relaxed. So L-theanine can help with anxiety, and it can help with stress. So there have been many studies done that confirm those benefits of taking out any. Doesn't matter if you take it in capsules or if you prefer drinking tea, you will still get the benefits. Now keep in mind that l works as a relaxing agent, but it doesn't sedate you. So it doesn't provide any sedative effect. For example, lemon balm or melissa, uh, it works similarly. So it also provides uh, the relaxing effects. But for example, compared to l in melissa then it also works as a sedation herb. And that's not true for l -tanin. So this means that if you take l in the evening, just before going to bed, you will be more relaxed, most likely, but it's not gonna help you fall asleep. Now, a couple of studies confirm that not only can l help normal people in normal situations, but it's even more effective for people who are under severe stress. So if you're under severe stress, um, if you have a lot of anxiety, then um, l can be even more effective. Another benefit I wanna talk about is increased focus and attention. Now, it doesn't really make sense how can one um, amino acid such as l at the same time, decrease your anxiety and make you more alert. But you know, this is what l can do and that's why I love it so much, why it's such a popular nootropic. So if you combine l with caffeine, like it's done here in this capsule, I think this one contains 100 milligrams of caffeine and 200 milligrams of l which is kind of the optimal dosage based on my research, then you're gonna get the positive benefits of caffeine. So your energy will go up, you will be more motivated, you will be more productive, and because of l you'll be more focused. Now, what's also gonna happen is you won't feel the negative or the adverse side effects uh, that comes usually with you know drinking coffee. And that's really, really powerful, especially for entrepreneurs, for managers, for high achievers, are people who really need a sustained focus without any crashes throughout the day. Actually, there has been one study done, I think it was in 2013 or something like that. They were given participants, which were healthy individuals, uh, around 50 milligrams of theanine and around 100 milligrams of caffeine. And the results showed that people who took um, this mixture of those two compounds were more focused and had better results on more demanding tasks. And that's really, really good to know. Now, another benefit I wanna talk about is how l can improve your sleep. Now, as I said before, l doesn't work as a sedative compound, so it's not gonna sedate you in the evening, but it can still positively influence your sleep. And probably this happens because it uh, directly influences different neurotransmitters, including GABA. So what can really happen is if you take let's say 200, 250 milligrams of l theanine in the evening, for example, one hour, two hours before sleep, one study showed that you're gonna sleep better, so the quality of your sleep will improve. Uh, now, there has been another study done which shows that if you take 400 milligrams of l theanine which is already quite a high dosage, can have similar effects on sleep. Now, before we say l theanine is the perfect or one of the best sleep nootropics or sleep compounds, 
Um, I want to see more studies done. I want to see what's the difference between 250 milligrams and 400 milligrams. I want to see what is the optimal dosage. But again, the studies I have found so far show really positive results. And I think l can be very, very beneficial. By the way, guys, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. Use a hashtag AskYourInception and I will weekly answer some of the most interesting questions that I will receive. One more important benefit I want to mention is the effect of l on our immune system. So there have been many studies done, I remember two of them, which show different benefits of taking uh, l on our immune system. So what l does actually is it can decrease inflammation in different parts of our bodies. Now how strong l is, I don't know or we don't know yet, but the studies I've seen show really good results and when more studies are done, I think we'll be more certain that l can help with inflammation even more. Now, there are some other benefits I want to mention, but not talk about too much because they lack studies. There has been one study done on young boys, I think they were like 8 to 12 years old, and the studies showed that l improved sleep in people, in those boys basically, who suffer from ADHD. Another study has shown that if you take l during uh, taking some drugs for treating cancer, um, the drugs can be even more effective and so on and so on. There are a couple of more studies done that show some other benefits, but I would be very careful with, you know, making any serious statements like, like um, that l can improve your cancer or whatever before we know more about it. By the way, guys, I have revealed seven special secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you. To get them, download my free handbook below. Now let's quickly talk about the risks and side effects of taking l -theanine. So first thing you have to know, l is considered safe based on all the research I've found. Um, I've been taking it for a long time. I've found a lot of research that proves um, this supplement to be very, very safe. Another thing I wanna mention uh, is when I talked about the correlation between l and cancer, there have been some studies done that actually supplementing l can on the other side um, make certain cancers even worse or have some negative um, effects on the treatment of, of cancer. So if you have cancer or any kind of issues with that, please consult your doctor before you supplement l -theanine. Apart from that, l is safe if you, of course, follow the recommended dosage. If not, then you can uh, have issues. You can, you can vomit, you can have some stomach issues or so on, like usual side effects. But you know, since we're talking about nootropics, we're talking about compound supplements, do consult your doctor before you take any supplements. Now, at the beginning of the video, I promised you to tell you what happens if you combine caffeine and l -theanine. I already mentioned feeling more alert, being more focused, basically, if you combine those two compounds. Now, I've been taking this, uh, this kind of um, pills for quite some time, um, and they work really, really well. If you go on a meeting, if you work on very demanding tasks, this is a perfect combo for, for me. So I love drinking coffee, but if I have to choose one of them, I would always go for a caffeine plus l and mix because you get so much more out of it. You feel more alert, you feel more focused. You, you, your like visual span kind of narrows down um, and um, the energy is sustained for a much longer time. And that's really, really, great to know. Now, if you want to get the benefits of l you can just go to the store, buy your favorite green tea. If you want to get more out of it, you can uh, find many different supplements containing l and caffeine. Always check that the ratio between the two is somehow 1 to 2 or 100 milligrams of caffeine to 200 milligrams of l And This is kind of the optimal dosage based on my research. Um, also, what you can get on the market are more advanced nootropic supplements that contain caffeine, that contain l and many other nootropics for better and stronger effects such as more focus, more energy, better mood, more motivation, more creativity, more productivity, and so on and so on. Now, if you want to learn more about them, if you want to find more advanced nootropic supplements on the market, check out the links below. You're going to find additional information about my favorite stuff currently available on the market. We're talking about the best, the highest quality supplements that you can buy right now. And there's a list below you're going to find uh, that I'm constantly updating. So whenever you check the link, you will find the best information available at the time you're checking it. So should you avoid taking l -theanin? Should you consider buying it? or should just go to the store and buy it. So in my opinion, 
you should just go to the store and buy it if you need more focus, if you want to get the benefits that LTNN brings, I would definitely recommend it. Green tea is great, in my opinion capsules are even better, but it is on you to decide. So thank you for watching this video, if you have any questions do let me know, don't forget to follow Your Inception on Facebook and Instagram and I hope to see you soon guys.